Hey YouTube, Corpersan here. There used to be a time in MapleStory where you could walk around in Hennessy's and see a strength bandit or an HP warrior just roaming about. Over the years though, the game has gotten a lot more streamlined and those days of builds like the strength bandit or strength archers or HP washing, those are long gone. However, there is one class that still has the option to go a bit more off meta than others. And I was wondering just how viable this actually would be. Meet my Kana Avenger. This Kana will put all its points in HP. Not only does this give us the advantage of being a very beefy boy, we also have one less buff to use since Maple Warrior is kinda useless when you only have 4 intelligence. Kana has a beginner skill called the Blessing of the Five Elements. That's the one we're going to abuse just a little bit. This skill changes all MP related stats into HP and for every 700 HP Kana will get one magic attack. Kana has her own source of mana and doesn't even use MP. So if we even get anything MP related that will go into our HP which will then go into our magic attack. I'll be making use of my full legion and link skills for this character. We're getting 3750 HP from just my legion grid, 2000 HP for my dawn warrior block, fire percent HP for my Dark Knight block, 5% MP for my Fire Poison Mage and 1k HP for my Mihil. We're also going to use a ton of Link skills. I got a level 2 Kaiser Link giving an additional 15% HP. We're getting 5% HP and MP from the Beast Tamer Link skill and 1225 HP and MP from the level 6 Explorer Pirate Links. This in grand total already gives me a nice 11k HP at level 12. A very humble beginning for a very healthy Kana. At level 15 we actually already have a wonderful 16 magic attack. We can't put any points in HP yet though, for some reason we can only start doing that after reaching level 20. And so far leveling is actually going pretty fast, but of course we have very high critical rate, we have a lot of passive bonus int, mostly from our legion. We will need it later actually, just, just so we can wear some gear. Reaching level 30, we quickly buy some totems from the reward store to speed up our grinding. Oh, you've changed Kana, you've changed. So far training is pretty fast. Kana seems to have relatively high skill based damage early on, and of course the massive uh, legion link skills are definitely helping there. The only thing that is slowing us down is that we have to apply every single skill point that we get manually we can't auto assign those whatsoever and we have to press enter every time because the game is like are you sure about this i also had to purchase an ap reset scroll for 100 million just so i could get rid of all that int that we got at the first job advancement kind of that slowing us down we want to be healthy not smart too bad also actually this scroll that you get from the cash shop doesn't reset any points put in hp so uh, i guess this kana will be a healthy kana forever while I was leveling, I was on the lookout for any gear that had high bonus HP or MP to use. Who needs a magic attack or int when you can just be very healthy? At level 85, we already had 63 additional magic attack. That's basically a full weapon's worth of magic attack right there. Plus, thanks to our very healthy lifestyle, we already have over 44k HP. Kana has a passive that restores 5% of our HP every monster she defeats. So we never had to use any potions, like, ever. We recover, like, 2k HP every monster killed. <laughs> forward to level 112 and we already have over 50k HP and gained a total of 74 magic attack. I also unlocked my inner ability for more HP and started Star Forcing my items for a few more stats and that way we could also train in those Star Force maps. Maple is a bit quieter these days which means that all of those will have high burning again in EU reboot. I'm also using those red monster park potions because they increase HP but funny enough though whenever we use a blue one those actually don't increase my HP and in extension don't also increase my magic attack so all our HP and MP has to come from our own stats and gear. We cannot buff the passive skill effect with potions seems like it. The same actually goes for your hyper stats. Putting points in MP does not activate the passive so you don't get any additional HP from this. However when we put our points in HP that does increase our range. That's quite interesting how that works. So HP does work from this source but MP apparently doesn't. My thirst for being the healthiest Kana was only just starting though and after a small investment into a few too many black cubes we upgraded some of our gear for a bit more HP and MP lines. Man that was 2 billion worth of spending right there and I'm not too sure if I was happy about it. I was actually hoping to get the decent hyper body skill. To be completely honest I don't even know if overalls can roll that but it was worth a shot you know. Worst case we just roll a ton of HP lines since those show up more often than not anyway. At level 155 we finally managed to hit 100 
100k HP. For reference, my level 210 Demon Avenger only has 109k HP with the same links and legions that we're using. So we're getting at those Kana Avenger levels already. Damage wise, HP Kana is not doing too bad. Thanks to the Star Force bonus points, Legion, Links, and HP scaling, we're actually doing some pretty decent damage. But do keep in mind though, we also haven't found a new weapon yet. It would take a bit longer before we finally found one. I think it was around level 170. Not sure what's up with the drop rate of those, but uh, dang boy, that took a while. I felt pretty confident in my damage, but I wanted to be even healthier. And what easier way to get more HP than getting some boss accessories? Unfortunately though, Zakum didn't drop anything, Magnus didn't drop anything, also he does a lot of damage when you have a lot of HP. So my only hope left was defeating Chaos Horntail and getting that Chaos Horntail necklace. That one has a 10% bonus HP and MP effect. This was a battle of the ages though. I don't recommend fighting this boss with only points of your HP. And at this level, it was a grueling 20 minute battle that you can watch back on the clip channel if you're into that sort of pain. And I actually did find all three boss accessories from Horntail though. What an absolute legend, he actually dropped all of them. I kept grinding all the way to level 200. It was at level 194 that I finally achieved 200 additional magic attack from the passive. That's like one and a half weapons worth of magic attack at this point. And once I finally hit level 200, I could assign my final points to HP. We get around 80 points of health for every point we put in there. And with a weapon with a slightly better flame, I now got us to 150k HP. That's actually more HP than my Demon Avenger has at level 210. Nice. So HP Kana, how viable is it? Well, surprisingly, with enough Legion Link skills, it's not that bad, at least up until this point. But yeah, it's mostly thanks to those Legion and Link skills that I can boost my HP even more and also have a lot of base int anyway, so I don't need to really have that much. I don't think my damage was lacking that much though. I even compared ranges to my other Kana, my normal Kana, and my HP Kana is actually doing slightly better. The little one does have 2% less damage though, and it's using a Frozen set, so it isn't a completely fair comparison, but still, hey... Even with this 6%, uh, 9% HP gear and some other minor HP improvements, we do sort of get around the same results. So it's not, it's, I think it's slightly weaker, but it's not that much weaker. It actually makes me wonder if you can skill infinite attack or magic attack, do you even need stats to begin with? But anyway, for the record, I definitely do not recommend doing this build. You'll be quite weaker than if you just put your points into int as your main stat. It does save you some messos on buying potions though. And of course you don't have to buff your maple warrior anymore. So that's like a, a nice buff you can just kind of ignore. Also hot take, a pre-level 200 Kana Avenger actually grinds better than Demon Avenger. But this was actually really fun to do though. And I secretly wish things were not that streamlined so we could do a fun bit of experimenting. Actually uh, speaking of fun, fun fact, Hayato has a passive that gives him more damage depending on how much defense he has. 200 defense equals 1% damage. The max amount of defense is 100k, well, minus 1, but yeah, let's just go for 100k, that's easier to calculate. So that technically means that Hayato could get about 500% bonus damage if he has max defense. Hmm, might have to test it out at one point, but that's enough Maple Story for me for today. Got any other build ideas you would like to see? Let me know in the comments. And as always, many thanks to our members for making videos like this possible. Thanks to Niels de Comic, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, Riley Oss, Terry Kim, Varys, Kaudi Mora, Wiley, History Cannon, Backspace, OTI, Safronix, Ziggy Deer, Flidiot, Knifesu, Cloudfix, Gusus Rodriguez, Digby, Vyra, Trevor, Michael Manchaka, Ratius, Justin Vale, Silvio Nato, Afterlord and the Score MS, Striker Elk, Tidal One Pun, Radical Jaws, Riser RU, Sir Tito, 655, Matteo Simonson, PC Game Life, The Pet. Messenger, Martin Panzik, Conra Cristales, Ace Light, Mr. Anark, Ben Wolf, Max Bernhardt, Muka1017, BMB King, Scotty Flies Fast, Priscilla, Brandon Cam, Vague Botnet, Feko, Victor Sundstrom, Simak, Only, Rashid Alhar Moody, Gerlando Balavia, Gianfranco, Calderon Canavero, Lucky Beats, Matthew Def, Gummy Bullet, Lord Fazil, and Spots D. Kaiser. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and happy mapling!